next door to me now. We've seen on television fairly recently, but in a five-year-old series called The Monkeys. And welcome to Mickey DeLenz. <laughs> we're watching that thing going around. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's man. Okay. Right. That'd okay. Be really nuts. Mickey, let's talk about the monkeys to start off with. Uh, I mean, have you had problems since since the band split up, being saddled with the old monkeys image? Oh, well, sure, like anybody does, I guess. Like Superman did. I know. <laughs> it's always a typecast, and the more successful the show, the more you get cast. And uh, I can't knock the success. You know, I'm certainly very happy and pleased and thankful for it. But I would like to get out and and get back to the things that I'm very comfortable with, with which is acting. And, mm and singing and all those things. Because you were talking quite a bit during the day about the contribution that the monkeys made in one way or another around that time. Yeah, it's, uh, I guess you don't, you don't realize that until after it's all over. But, uh, and people always ask me, you know. And uh, I, in fact, uh, uh, Timothy Leary uh, had a whole chapter of one of his books. And many people have now uh, written about it. And, uh, it is interesting that I can look back now objectively at the time. I had no idea. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> but um, besides bringing long hair in the living room, which uh, up until that time long-haired kids were considered dope addict freaks, right? But uh, it brought long hair in the living room and, and made it acceptable. And uh, we started a lot of people on their way. Uh, Carol King used to write most of our material, the songs. And uh, Harry Nielsen wrote a lot of uh, uh, things for us I'm still very uh, very friendly with. And Neil Diamond wrote uh, I'm a Believer, which was one of the biggest hits we had. And it was also the first show on television that, uh, that ever had no, that had no um, authority figure, no father or uncle or school teacher. It was total fantasy. These kids just left to their own devices in a, in a total fantasy world. And, and, uh, and, uh, and one of the other things it did... Uh, which I just realized recently was for the first time it merged the music and the television industry that always been overlapping at times but it really merged those two industries and showed how successful and how powerful music and rock music especially and television if they're combined you know now in concert and and all those rock shows are are obviously so successful mm. and uh, and now that I look back you know uh, Jimi Hendrix uh, uh, we took him on his first American tour, if you can imagine that, right? <laughs> Jimi Hendrix and the Monkees. He opened the show for us on our tour. And you can imagine all the... The kids loved it. But the mothers and fathers, uh, uh, they'd come to a monkey concert to see us singing, Bubble gum is good for you. And all of a sudden, Jimi Hendrix comes out and goes... <laughs> <laughs> and they uh, was kind of hairy there for a while. But uh, now that I look back, and at the time I didn't even realize, you know, but... Um, what are, the other, what are the other three doing now, then, Mickey? Well, uh, Davey has been doing um, uh, plays, Oliver, and, uh, and he did a play over here uh, and doing legitimate theater, because that's his roots, his background. Mm. Uh, Mike has been doing country western. He right. has a country western label mm. now and has been doing that. Peter's been living in the woods with little girls. <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, uh, he's been writing. He's a, an excellent writer and a classical uh, pianist. And a and guitar player, he plays seven or eight instruments, and he never did get to fulfill his uh, his musical uh, ambitions on the show, because the music was very simple. It was for children, more or less, for or for for young people, and he was a very accomplished musician and still is. And uh, so he's been writing, and um, kind of laying back into the woods in San Francisco area in Mill Valley. Mm. And I just saw him. He finally came down into L.A. He's doing rather well. He has a new group. And what about yourself, Mickey? Because I know nothing. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, just I know at one out. point that you directed a couple of the monkeys. Yeah, I directed yourself. the shows and wrote a couple of the shows. Mm. Not many people know that. How did you know that? That's fair. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm looking to get into production. Mm. Uh, anywhere I can. You have any jobs? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, actually, I came over here to. Uh, to buy all your bent spoons. Oh right, the, <laughs> I know a lot of people with yeah. crooked mouths back in the states, and I thought I'd help them out. That's amazing, isn't it? That, mm. yeah. Do you believe in that? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, I do too. Mm -hmm. There's no question in my mind. So and uh, what I've been doing, I've been recording uh, for Polydor, and in the states it's MGM. Mm. Harry Nielsen's been producing me, right. doing some songs, and hanging out with a John Lennon's over there.
So we've been hanging out together, just, uh, and I'm just recuperating from a, uh, a going away party that they threw me when I left just a few days ago. I tried to keep up with them. We had a few drinks, not a lot, you know, no, just a few drinks. And I got on the plane and got off the plane just in time to have a hangover. Right. And it's been just that since I got here, and it's been incredible. So just finally, Mickey, then, when can we expect some new recordings? Oh, I'm, I'm going to uh, have a release, I think, about the first of the year. An album? Yeah. yeah. No, just a single, I think. Mm. I, I don't do albums uh, as such, because I don't like the same sound you get in an album all the time. You go in a studio and you have 12 sides that sound like they've all been cut in the same night with the same people. And, and I'd much rather uh, do a two or three sides here, two or three sides there, and, mm. and get completely different sounds, because I'm an actor primarily, so I'm ver I like to do theatrical things you know, mm. that are all sound very different. Five, right. four, three, three two, two, one. Mickey Delens, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Music from Germany. From